Hey guys, this is Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today we've got another evening grind episode. We're back at the home lake here. And, uh, you know, uh, I didn't work today even though it's a Friday. I uh, took the day off. I was actually going to do an evening grind yesterday, but you know what? I had actually had some truck issues. There's a tornado that went through Ottawa and there are vicious thunderstorms. So here's hoping it was just I accidentally left the door open or something in my truck when I was packing before work and took the car to work and came back and hopefully the battery's fine. Anyways, long story short, hopefully I can uh, make it home okay <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, but we're gonna do an evening grind tonight. And even realistically, even if I made it back here, the thunderstorms were so bad that I don't think I, I would have even gotten to go fishing to be honest with you. Uh, so we went up first thing this morning and picked up a few. Um, I picked up a few bass, knocked a few episodes out of things I wanted to film. And uh, and tonight we're just doing the evening grind. You know, I, I've got two kind of goals tonight. A, I've, I've got to catch fish. But B, I really want to catch one on a jig. We've got the Hack Attack Heavy Structure Jig, which I like a lot because I usually don't I usually don't throw a jig unless it's like the dirtiest lay down you can find. Um, and I would like to catch one on the frog. Both I have not caught one on. I've caught a, quite a few on a popper probably, but not so much on a, on a frog. Keep working the shoreline and hopefully we get a few fat bass. Ah, let's keep working the shoreline and hopefully we catch a few bass tonight. Zero for one for frog blow. shot run or drop shot lure there we go a little small I bet you right underneath that tree where you ought to be Ooh, a little 11 inter same thing on the little Gary Yamamoto dream shot or whatever that drop shot lure is works pretty good as a as a Ned rig there we go just killing some time before we get into the frogging and the flipping, hopefully. <laughs> Seeing how we're, we're 0 for 1 for froggy, I'm not promising anything. Alrighty, my Yamamoto lure refuses to hang on to the um, bait keeper, so I'm just going to take a little bit off there, and that might be good for another three fish. If I get six fish of a Gary Yamamoto uh, lure, then uh, write that down because that's probably a Guinness World Record. There we go. We're back in business. Oh, yeah, that plane seems super low. As we float down. What do we got? Oh, first cast. Ooh, feisty, 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 Smalley. 
he did not seem to mind for his cast with a cut down Gary Yamamoto drop shot shad. He did not seem to mind uh, that we cut her down. Seemed to be okay with that. Right, little buddy? Let's see. Boom. Ah. All right. Whew, he's shredded that little uh, Gary Yamamoto shad as well, but we'll thread her in again, see if we can't get one more out of her. Alrighty, got one more little smallmouth off of it. This guy's like four inches. Where the hell did you get that hook from? There we go. Boop. That was the wind, anyways. Little rock bass, little bass. Oh, I got a fish on it. <laughs> My line was moving. And, uh, Oh, I got one. Sight fish, that little smallmouth. I saw him go right towards it. I thought it was a rock bass, though. Because you were smaller than the rock bass that I just caught. Okay, I'm done. There we go. Bam. Frog will be this cast. There we go. Alright, I waited. At least I'm good at calling my shots. stronger than 65 pound CR Smackdown. Ah, holy moly. He took my frog. I did not think that dead old branch would freaking have it in it. That sucks. Alright, I better go back and get that frog I guess. I would have bet friggin' a million dollars. I would have been like, yeah, I bet a million bucks. That dead twig comes flying out of there. And then I would have, uh, would have been out a million dollars that I don't have. Here. Ooh, that bugger ever really get wrapped around. Alright. There we go. Mission accomplished. Got our frog. There is so much brush timber here. Someone must have cut all this and dumped it. It's crazy. This hack attack heavy structure jig definitely gets hung up more than the dirty jig did. I remember this being, oh my god, wait. This is a giant. This is a giant. Whew, not a giant. First jig fish. Good two and a quarter or something. Awesome, awesome. Let's take a photo. Bam. Jack that guy, he wasn't coming out. There you go. Boom. Ah.
This is a giant. This <laughs> a giant smolly. Did anyone else think that was just like a, this is like a three and change smolly, probably three pounds anyways. like a smallie. Alrighty. A little small mouth while we're in 200 feet of water. Casting the shoreline. Waiting to get to the next fishing spot. Ooh, we really slayed them on this little uh, um, Gary Yamamoto shad thing. Is it a rock bass? It's playing like a smolly now. Oh, yeah, it is a smolly. There we go. Everyone loves the Gary Yamamoto. They're just crushing them. There we go. Bam. Let's keep on going with the smollies or largies, whatever. Alrighty, another little smallmouth. I don't know how many friggin' fish I've caught this year or tonight, but. Oh, no, buddy. There we go. I bet ya. I don't think there's a, another YouTuber that has caught more bass than me if we're counting a four inch smallmouth. I don't think anyone in Canada is gonna air more bass than I am this year. I'm gonna throw that gauntlet down. I don't know how many we're putting on YouTube. Maybe a million? Probably not though. Maybe 10 million? Absolutely not. Maybe 700? Probably not, but maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Rock bass. Smolly. Largy. Whew. What a wide range of emo emotions there. You know, before there was like 40 laydowns here and there was like one sneaky laydown. I used to catch like a lot of three pounders off of there in a year. Well guys, I'm going to throw the frog for a few more minutes and then I'm uh, headed home. Um, had my chances, I think I'm 0 for 4 with a frog, which is no one's fault but my own, I'm pretty sure. Um, what else? Well, I'm happy I got a couple fish on the jig and, you know, a few hundred on the Ned Rig most likely. I don't know, it seems we kicked them on a... Uh, on the Ned Rig tonight, the old uh, Dream Shad or whatever from Gary Yamamoto. Some kind of shad worm, I think it's a shad worm. Uh, got a couple on the jig, the Strike King Hack Attack, heavy structure, not the fluorocarbon flipping hook uh, jig. I don't like that one, I like the heavy cover because I only throw a jig in heavy cover. So that just makes sense. Um, and yeah, so the jig and the and the Ned rig. I don't know if I caught a single fish on a on a wacky worm. It was pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, uh, if I don't catch another one, uh, thank you guys for watching. Glad I uh, glad I went out and, and tried something different tonight. 
So let's uh, let's head home and oh, how's it bite? I don't think he's got it though. Alrighty, I'm gonna head home. If I don't catch one on a frog, uh, thank you guys for watching. Another evening grind. Uh, definitely, you know, was happy to get a feel on the jig for the first time this year. A small mouth was friggin' crazy underneath that tree. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching and take care. Well, guys, it was ending the little video, but turned out we got one more on the Gary Yamamoto Dream Shad or whatever. That was cool. All right, bonus fish. Oh, yeah.